Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel, Zani B. Davis, where I speak all about pregnancy, hypnobirthing, and new motherhood. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, share it with other moms and moms-to-be, and of course, um, comment, let me know what you're thinking, let me know what other um, videos you guys would like me to share, and topics that you want me to speak about. So today, I want to speak about, um, basically, I'm going to title this in a different way, but it's about like the love that you have for your child and what you would do for that child okay um those of you who know my story my husband and i we were trying for over a year it was a couple months it was over a year definitely we were trying and nothing was happening there was no signs of pregnancy and anything like that there were times where i was worried i thought it was never gonna happen and all of those things but it did and we're so grateful to god that it absolutely did right but we knew as well that we were preparing for this baby um when we first got married we were like three years in we'll have a baby three years passed and we're like we're not ready we weren't where we wanted to be financially we weren't where we wanted to be um even like maturity to be parents and stuff like that we just didn't feel ready and it came into five years and then obviously we were waiting for five years and then to actually decide that we're ready and then to be trying and it not happening is a lot going on for us right but it just goes to show like you know it just i said to god like i'm happy that it, it went that way in a sense obviously going through it at that time it was really difficult but now i look back i'm happy because it made me really prepare you know it made me really do the things that i needed to do it made me to be a conscious parent to decide the way i want to parent my child and the way i want to behave and the preparation that i want to do for the birth and new motherhood and everything and so it made me think like the love i had for that child for zena she is now i love her so much and those of you know my video that i share about prayers and declaration for my unborn baby i would pray over her and i would declare things up over her when she was in my tummy and even now i put her in a mirror and i say that you know you are so smart you're so clever i'm so proud of you you're so beautiful and i declare all of these things upon her life even now that she's a big girl but i just remember the love that i had for my daughter and i wanted everything to be i don't want to say perfect but i wanted to be prepared in every way and that is why i did hypnobirthing that's one of the reasons why i did hypnobirthing because i knew that i didn't want to have a really long drawn out birthing experience but it wasn't really about me only it was also about my baby i wanted her to have a great experience coming into the world i didn't want her to be in distress i want her to come out um in a natural environment i don't want to be drugged up or in any way i'm um, compromising her birth experience and i wanted everything to be as natural as possible as god created it to be and so you know that desire that i had to make sure that everything was perfect for my little girl and everything that i could control i was able to do drove me to be prepared to get hit in the birthing um, sessions, to actually be coached and speak to other um, moms who've been along that line as well, people who I trust, obviously speaking to my mom and my sister and, you know, hearing about my whole mother and experience, reading books, you know, following along with other bloggers and reading other blogs and coaches and everything else because I wanted to be fully prepared. So I want to just share, like, you know, when you love your baby, obviously you've gone through so much to, you know, you know um try for them some of us did ivf i know a friend of mine who had so many rounds of ivf and if she's finally have her little girl you know you have done so much for your baby so why not prepare for the birth as well and that's why hypnobirth is so important and the um, my two last clients, they testified to how um, much more confident and how much more relaxed they felt after our sessions because this is the thing, like preparation is key. I am a spontaneous person. I love just getting up and going. I love just popping up to some place without, you know, a previous planning because I think that's always fun. But I think for something like motherhood, something like um, childbirth, it is definitely something that you should prepare for. You should not just decide to just wing it. You should not just decide that you're just going to go with the flow. I mean, inevitably, we have to trust that God is going to do his thing and some things are out of our control, but we should actually prepare for what we can prepare for. And what we can do is make sure that our mindset is where we're at, where there's just peace and security and knowing that we've got this, okay? So what I said to my clients when it comes to hypnobirthing is that 
you will never tip up to a London marathon or a marathon in general without ever running a, a mile. I'm not a runner, I don't know, or a kilometer or whatever you run, right? You're gonna practice every single day, every weekend. You're gonna be practicing, making sure that you beat your time and all of these things, build up your endurance, okay? And childbirth is kind of similar. Like you are you we should not, and I think moms get this wrong all the time, pregnant women, like you shouldn't just think, okay, I'm just gonna go and give birth and it's gonna be totally fine. Yes, it is obviously women around the world are giving birth every minute of every day it's a natural process right it is true but because of the society that we're living in and modern technology and all of these things we have been bombarded with so much negative um connotation ne negative stories about childbirth and so we're going into birthing like if oh my goodness like things might go wrong um i might be in labor for like x amount of hours and so these fears have actually conditioned our mind and that's going to influence our experience and that's why with hypnobirthing we use deep therapeutic techniques such as breathing and visualization and relaxation to kind of just bring you back to those um that you know that space where god really created us to be you know just to just trust our body and just know um that you know, God has created us in such an amazing way and our bodies are going to do exactly what it needs to do when it comes to childbirth. And we just need to let go and not constrain and not be tense and not like uh, making it harder for ourselves. OK, so I want you to think when you're thinking about preparing for the birth of your baby and preparing to be a mom, think from that space of, oh, my gosh, what would I do for my baby? And what would you do for your baby? You would prepare for the birth. You want them to have the best birthing experience possible. You want them to come out in an environment where you are calm, where everything is calm, where everything is relaxed. There's not hysteria. There's not like stress and all of these things as much as you can. When you look at moms who give birth using hypnobirth in the how absolutely control they are how absolutely calm and peaceful they are it's absolutely unbelievable to what you see um compared to other moms who are just like okay i'm just gonna give birth and i don't really know what i'm doing and i'm just gonna go with the flow okay <coughs> so that is exactly what i wanted to share today about um yeah about just loving on your baby and you know doing exactly what you know you need to do for that child making sure that you are prepared make sure that you're prepared physically mentally emotionally um spiritually as well um and all of those things so uh i want to hear from you i want to hear from you if you actually agree with this if you think that it doesn't make sense if you just think that you're just gonna be okay with just topping up and just going to the hospital and it's gonna be fine I can attest, as I said before, to how much power hypnobirthing has when you just learn to trust your body. And that's the whole point of it. Because, yes, good meaning midwives and doctors will tell you, relax, relax, right? And obviously, it's so natural for them to say it. But just think about how natural it's going to be when you're actually feeling pain, when you're actually feeling contractions. It is so hard for you to actually relax unless you've been practicing to relax, okay? And with hypnobirthing, like we're teaching you how to do something when your contractions or when your birthing process actually starts to happen that's the beauty about it so it's like a more um post post um like suggestions that is going to be happening in the future so it's like you're practicing now for what's going to happen in the future which is like yes yeah, it's, it's a bit strange but the practice happens like now so that when you actually go into childbirth when you actually become a mom you have already um learned the techniques you've already learned the tools and you already have been practicing these things and the practice is just simple it's just learning to just relax and it's just listening to these relaxation scripts that we have it is just about learning to let go finding a comfortable place um, practicing your breathing as much as possible as an asthmatic i had to practice breathing because this was not natural for me to just breathe you know in long and let go in a longer breath it was more natural for me to be hyperventilating and taking short breaths so breathing is already is also practice so you could just say like, i have a video on that you could check that out where i talk about breathing and relaxation techniques and how you can practice your breathing and just start fantasizing, like visualizing yourself on this amazing place, an amazing beach, and all of these things are going to help you when it comes to relaxation, okay? So that's all I wanted to share with you today. Think about your baby when you're thinking about the birth and the experience that you want to have and see how you can prepare yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, and then go ahead and do it. Go ahead and watch these videos and I pray that they have helped you in some way. Um, I'd love to hear from you as well. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for 
next video next week. Bye!